Uh, packing the mail, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just had a deal. What's going on, everybody? Mike here from Wall Street Traders. Uh, I'm just making this quick video to explain uh, resistance and support lines so you guys can better understand and read these charts so you guys aren't too confused on what you're looking at. Um, the platform that I'm using is Weeble. Uh, if you would like this platform, it is free. You can go on my previous uh, video and go ahead and copy and paste that link below and get your two free stocks to start with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when identifying or looking at any chart that you're looking into, uh, I'm using Tyson right now. I've just clicked a random one to kind of give you guys an example uh, to look at. Uh, so right here, we can see that we are in a upward trend, right? If we go back, it's breaking new highs. So this would be the previous highest point or well, right about here would be the previous highest point um, in in the past so when we're looking at charts you, you definitely want to back test and look at the previous uh, price action points that they were previously at and we can see that it has broken new highs right here so what this works as uh, it being a previous high point it works as a resistance uh, so what that means is uh, usually it'll have trouble breaking through this point, which uh, I don't think it did right here. Um, <clears throat> but since we have a new highest point, we can see that it's making new highs. So it, this right here would be an upward trend. Now, as of right now, we see that it's kind of consolidating. It's not breaking new highs. It is right here, uh, but then kind of evens out right here. So we can test that by going like this, put our line horizontal line like that and it's been tested one two three times so it's having trouble breaking past this point up here so that would be our resistance line and so what this would become instead of this because this was our previous uh, resistance line it is works now as a support line so when this comes down it'll actually have trouble breaking past this point right here that doesn't mean that it um, it, uh, it will or won't but it definitely can, but um, it, it's proven because we can test it right here. One, we can come back right here two, three times. <clears throat> so that's how you back test. You wanna make sure that at least touches that point three times from the lowest or highest point of the previous. Um, so as of right now, it's kind of consolidating. So I wouldn't uh, put an entry, an entry point yet. So I wouldn't um, place uh, an order for it just yet. So what we're looking for right now is for this part right here to come down and either touch or kiss this part right here, right? And then we would actually go down into our uh, one day chart and then our one minute interval. So you're able to uh, read these candlesticks a lot easier, which I'll make another video later on how to read these candle uh, stick charts to make it uh, more accurate um, for you and put you at an advantage on the market. <clears throat> So we either are going to see it hit right here and then show a small uptrend right here. And that's exactly where you would place your entry and you would set your stop limit. So basically the, when it gets up here, you would pull out and take your money, um, if that makes sense to you guys. And then you would set your, uh, your other stop limit below probably right here. Uh, we could back test to see where its previous point of – we could actually put it right here. Uh, so if it does drop below, we have some cushion and it doesn't lock us out and then um, we know we lose money. Uh, <clears throat> so we would look for that or we would also look for this to come down, come up, right? Break through this resistance line and we would let it come up, test it, come back down and test its new support line, which would be right here. And then as soon as we've seen uh, the candlesticks in a green uh, upward trend we would place our entry right here right so let me go back to the three months and so once it breaks past this new resistance right here we would look for the next resistance line we would place that at so let me just open this up more so we can have a better look on where the next resistance line would be come back Okay, I guess we don't have one there. Um, so what I would stick with, since it doesn't have a previous high point than this, uh, I would I would definitely cut my 
stop limit around $93 and my entry would be around $72. Um, so that's really just the basics of resistance and support lines. Uh, so without trying to almost confuse you guys, I'm not trying to, but uh, if I did, uh, just ask me some questions and I'll go ahead and send them out to you and uh, hopefully answer them all. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's